Hey YouTube, what's going on? In this video, we are talking about some more lies in the natural hair community, some ingredients to be exact that you're probably been told to completely avoid, specifically propylene glycol and phenoxyethanol. You do not want to miss this, so stay tuned. Okay, so phenoxyethanol, I'm pretty much sure you have seen this in your conditioners, shampoos, and we use it in formulations because it does a great job at preserving the formulation because we do not want to create something that grows mold and bacteria. So technically, we're trying to keep you guys safe here, okay? However, there's still stuff about phenoxyethanol, but this kind of goes back to a video I did about a few months ago about toxicology and concentration and how everything is a poison, even water. Water, but it all depends on the dosage, on the concentration. So it's the same thing with phenoxyethanol. In formulations, we use it at 1% and less. We do not go over 1% because we don't really need that much to even for it to be preserved in a formulation. So when it comes to if it's harmful for the body, it's not, especially at the low amount concentrations that we use in formulations. So first, propylene glycol. I'm sure you have seen it in like your conditioners and moisturizers. We use use it in formulations because it's actually a really great humectant, very, very similar to glycerin. And on top of that, it helps the formula or the cream or conditioner to spread a whole lot easy. So that's why we use it in formulations. Now, the fear or the lie that has been circulating along the internet is that number one, it's an antifreeze, which is very true. Propylene glycol is an antifreeze, but so is water. So it's an antifreeze because it actually helps to lower the freezing point of ice, hence why we use it. Similar to salt, but it's also humectant, so it has a multifunctional use. Secondly, about propylene glycol, the fear is that it breaks down the skin. Uh, this is untrue, especially in the concentrations that we use it in our formulations. Propylene glycol is using conditioners and moisturizers typically about like 1% and up until about 10%, which is still relatively small. Not enough to cause any damage or harm to the body. Now, if you work in a chemical plant and you work with 100% propylene glycol, then yeah, you're gonna wanna wear some gloves and protective gear, but that's with any type of ingredient. So that is my take on propylene glycol. I think it's completely safe. It's a great humectant, especially if you have low porosity hair. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed filming it for you. You guys any questions or comments let me know don't forget to subscribe make sure your notifications are on and I will definitely talk to you soon all right bye